Hey guys, welcome to another lunch time review. Today I'm going to try one of these new life cuisines. It's like a lean cuisine meal. Uh, this one is the pasta bolognese bowl. It's chickpea pina pina pasta in a rich and meaty tomato sauce topped with real cheese, mozzarella cheese. So the deal is these are made with a, um, a chickpea pasta. So it's made with bonza chickpea pasta. Evidently that's a brand. Uh, it's gluten-free pasta made with chickpeas. It's gluten-free, 32 grams of protein, 9 grams of fiber. Let's see it. It's 10 and a half ounces, 297 grams. We bought it at Meyer. It was $4.99. Meyer's finally starting to get some of their uh, frozen dinners back in. They were out for a long time. Um, 550 calories per package. So not a low calorie just because it's a uh, chickpea. Um, so 550 calories. There's the other info. If you want it, there it is. Um, power up your bowl. Yeah. Um, thoughtful portion is one bowl. Let's see. Directions are there. So I don't see any directions, uh, microwave oven only. So we're gonna leave the film on the bowl, cook for three minutes on high, stir and recover, and then cook for another minute and a half on high, and then let it sit for a minute to, uh, to finish cooking and balance out and all that good stuff. No pull tab, so be careful, paper cuts. There's what it looks like, doesn't look like anything really. So I'm gonna, you, don't vent, you don't vent it or anything, you just leave it on there. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is on the microwave, and it just smells like a really good like uh, pasta sauce with meat. So, um, so yeah, that's that's what it, that's what it smells like. So it doesn't smell funny or odd or strange. So I'm gonna let this cool off for just a minute. It's super super hot because it's been in the microwave for a while. Um, so I'm gonna let it cool off for a minute. I'll be back. I gave it a minute to cool off. Um, it's just pasta and sauce. That's pretty much everything. I really like the flavor of the sauce. It's not um, it's not spicy or, or anything like that. It's just got a really good um, like a tomato sauce flavor. It's not they didn't over season it. That's for sure. It's not um, it's it's a lot of basil in there. I can taste a lot of basil, but um, or basil. Um, but I don't taste like garlic, and I really don't even get a, a really strong tomato flavor. To be honest with you, it, it's I mean you do get a tomato flavor, but it's a, it's a lot of basil. The question you're really wondering about is the pasta. Um, it's a little softer than I prefer pasta. I like my pasta a little um, firmer. Not hard by any means, it's just firmer. No, well, and that piece of pasta was firmer. Um, a couple pieces have been not mushy, but just soft. Yeah, and those two are fine. So, some of it's a little soft, some of it's a, it's fine. So, you know, it's kind of mixed in there um, pretty decently. Flavor-wise of the pasta itself, it's not bad. I mean, you, it doesn't taste like traditional pasta, but it doesn't taste like chickpeas either. You know, it doesn't taste bad. You definitely know it's different. That's for sure. But like I said, it doesn't taste bad. My biggest complaint really is not in the pasta. My complaint is in the sauce. It really just doesn't have a lot of, this doesn't have a lot of seasoning to it. It needs some more flavor in there. The, the flavor it has is okay, but it's pretty, I mean, I've gotten more flavor out of spaghetti meals, you know, than this. And again, that's nothing to do with the pasta. The pasta is fine. It has everything to do with that sauce. The sauce is very, very lacking in flavor. Um, that being said, it's good. It's not great. It's a three out of five. It's just your average everyday meal. If you want um, something with, uh, like I said, this is um, this is more of their um, their meat, the gluten free. Uh, this is their gluten free version. If you want gluten free, um, fairly decent protein, 33 grams of protein is a lot of protein. Um, if you were looking for um, for that kind of lifestyle, then then try it out. I think you'll like it uh, better than some things. But for me, it just lacks flavor. So I think if I put a little bit of um, a little bit of garlic powder in here and a little onion powder and some salt and pepper, it'd probably elevate it a little bit more. But as it stands, it's just kind of bland. So anyway, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.